Hey, what's up everybody? John here. And uh, yeah, Saturday again, back in the garden. Um, and this is just gonna be short update. Still a lot going on, but not a whole lot different from weeks before. But we actually have um, been harvesting the uh, potatoes and we're gonna show that to you here in just a second. Um, they're not been they've not been as productful productful produceful productful <laughs> they haven't been as productive as uh, they haven't been as productive as what uh, we had hoped originally but there's a number of reasons I think uh, I think the soil was too hot for them as they were growing early in the season um, but you know what they have produced and we're gonna show it to you I think we're gonna put a second planting in so that hopefully we'll get some here in uh, here in the fall and oh that'd be pretty cool if that happens um, I just killed a few more of the army worms we're gonna be spraying again for those probably tomorrow maybe Tuesday because we gotta spray for the worms and for the powdery mildew and yeah just some upkeep stuff um, Kelly is actually trimming back the marigold bushes. They took forever to grow, and when they finally did, if she doesn't keep them trimmed back, they probably would look like trees. So um, I'll show a little clip of her uh, cutting some of that and bringing them over and just piling them up so we can get rid of them. But uh, anyway, yeah, so let's, uh, let's take a look here in the uh, garden. So here is uh, some of Kelly's marigold cuttings. And she trimmed right through here. And these were so full right here that they were overtaking the bed here. You can see how big the plant is. But I think we would have, I think we would have done well if we would have just had half the amount of marigolds because they kind of overtook the tomato plants but that's all right maybe we'll do do something a little different next time we plant some um, but i've i've seen people's gardens as i'm driving down the road and there are some marigold plants really that almost look like small trees so i didn't know they got so big but they do so if you ever plant marigolds give them space i mean take a look at how thick and full the uh, marigold plant is right there. Well, we didn't know what things were going to look like whenever we uh, started digging for uh, potatoes. But uh, some of the plants, they don't really have but one or two. But we do have one plant that had uh, about a dozen. So here, take a look. So this is my mom and dad dug up a few potatoes the other day to see what we had. And this is what, about the size of what we got, and smaller. So we were thinking we really weren't gonna get any potatoes, but as you can see there, and over there, we got some decent sized potatoes. These all came off of one plant. Yeah. I have a cool little thing too here, John. My dad just dug this up. It's a cicada larvae. That was in the ground. <laughs> kind of funky looking. Get ready. They're coming. <laughs> well, that's what potatoes look like on the bottom of the plant. At least we got some. So the peas Kelly planted a couple weeks ago are really starting to look pretty good. 
looking like small plants. So I think they, they already look like they're doing better than the ones that got planted in the late spring. So I think they're going to like the weather that's coming in that's cooler. And the cucumber vines, they are still producing the burpless, but a much, much more slowly. And I think the, uh, I think they're about to run their course. A lot of the leaves are browning up, drying off, and the actual cucumbers that are growing, they're looking funky. So there's still a few that are going to get picked, but I don't know how much more time they have in the world here. So. And the onions that we planted at the end of at both ends of this bed again we didn't think they were ever going to take off and they are looking pretty nice right now so that's exciting our beets are growing i might try one if they produce green beans still looking good still a ton of beans that are growing gonna be picked look how much weight they actually <laughs> they add a lot of weight to string and to the vine take a look how this board here it had a little bow in it when we put it up but all this weight here pulling on it it's just putting a little strain on it so it's just the way it goes so I have seen where people will trellis their beans or add string or other things not just so they have an extra place to grow but also that it helps support that weight because I've seen pictures and videos people have shown where they grow up so big and thick on their teepees and, and whatnot that the weight just winds up making everything slide down. And then you got all this good growth that's just a pile of mess on the ground that you really have to pick through. And so it was really helpful that we put the string up. So if you grow beans or anything else that vines, make sure you got a support system for them so that they don't uh, wind up in a mess on the ground. Hey, show me, show me how wide that uh, grape tomato plant is. Uh, <laughs> well, this is the grape tomato plant, so it's stretching all the way over here. It could go a lot farther too. And there's a big long branch over here. It's stretched over the other tomato plant cage. Even there's a little branch down here that's stretched way over here. It is just crazy. cherry tomato plant in this cage and uh, we actually thought it was done because it produced some tomatoes and then it seemed to die but if you look down here it started a new branch at the bottom this is the branch from the cherry tomato so we may end up with some more cherry tomatoes which is good because they tasted really good we like those we like them both great fan cherry take a look at our zucchini squash that I thought would never ever come on and then our lettuce is growing and it has grown rather quickly but for some reason it is laying down so I don't know why if she's growing too quickly if it likes the shade too much and decided to grow too quickly or what but I don't know. We gotta look into it. But the spinach really is looking good. And our yellow and green squash here. Still a little bit of green on the end, but it looks like it is 
growing out of the green, so we'll find out. Then our other squash looks pretty good. And I'm telling you, this replant of, or the second go around of zucchini has just taken off in size. So I guess that's the difference between planting them actually in a bed and planting them in a pot because they are huge and there's a whole bunch of blossoms so I think we might get some fruit off these and our big fancy onions that are just amazing that we are super excited about that we had to get worms off of that didn't grow for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and they are going to be beautiful by the time they are harvested all right guys so i'm going to go ahead and end it like i said there's just not a whole lot extra or new to report um just wanted to give you a short little run through of the garden today so i hope that uh you guys are doing well on this beautiful saturday because let me tell you it is a beautiful saturday i hope that it is where you are too looking forward to this um, long weekend so i hope you guys have a great rest of your day whatever day it is that you are watching this if you like the video hit the like button if you are not yet a subscriber hit the subscribe and if you want to know when new video content comes out Ring the, the, ring the notification bell and hopefully YouTube will actually notify you. So yeah, so anyway you guys, be safe this weekend, enjoy family, enjoy food, and I'll see you on the next video.